Good morning, it's Angie again from Little Dumplings Nursery, and I did a video this morning where I showed you baby Charles that is currently on auction on my page, and now I wanted to take some time to show you the babies that I am offering, uh, or the kits that I'm offering for finished babies for my Christmas special. I did want to make a comment about the fact that I realized when I looked at myself on video um, that I look like somebody punched me in the eye. I am suffering from really bad allergies right now to the point that I can't wear eye makeup and my eyes are very swollen and very itchy so I apologize I look a little off but um, that's why. So I'm hoping everyone can hear me just fine. Um, I'm still kind of trying to get the hang of the settings with this OSB Studio um, but working with the OSB Studio allows me to change the visuals and the lighting a little bit on my camera. My camera's not a really expensive one so um, as soon as somebody joins me, if you would just comment whether or not you can hear me, I'm going to give that just a minute. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you um, a picture from my browser that shows um, the little special that I'm running, um, how that, I've got a little picture up on my page, and we'll talk a little bit about that. So, um, right now I'm running a special for Christmas on babies that I'm working on. And um, in this special, I um, do, am doing things a little different than I have done in the past. So, in the past, um, I have offered uh, babies on sale and usually done the cheaper bountiful baby kits and ran what I call budget babies and it tends to be that the clientele for the most part has been um, people who are buying dolls for their kids mostly um, sometimes for the elderly and I've done that several years in a row but I've decided to do things a little differently this year for a couple of reasons one being that um, I am finding that the Bountiful baby kits are being produced so quickly and they are constantly running sales that are producing the kits at very low cost to reborners, which is all fabulous. But the market is totally flooded with bountiful baby kits. And so you can go anywhere and find a bountiful baby doll uh, reborn by anywhere from someone who's an extremely good artist to someone who's a new artist who's not so good. And the prices range from literally below the cost of making the doll up to um, little to no profit to the really, um, there are still some that are expensive that are at higher prices. Um, and so being that that market is so flooded right now, I just decided that for those of you that are looking for a doll for your kid that you want something that's cheaper, you can go somewhere like Reborns.com and find them all day long. So I'm not doing that this year. Um, in fact, I'm moving away from the Bountiful Baby Kits as a whole for, for at least a season, and, and we're going to see how this goes. Um, so what I decided to do instead is this year for Christmas, I have pulled out six kits that I'm offering as Christmas special babies. These are limited edition kits. Every one of them comes with a certificate of authenticity. And I am selling these babies significantly below what I would normally sell a limited edition baby that's finished as a full reborn Angie Babies baby from the Little Dumplings um, nursery. So the, the kits that I have pulled are, um, I have here, I have Tacy by Marita Winters. Uh, I have Alexander by Olga Auer. And uh, over here I have Uriel by... Um, and I just forgot the name of the artist on Uriel, Priscilla Lopez, I believe it is. And then over here, I have um, Little Yawn by Phil Donnelly. And I may or may not be saying that name right. Down here, I have um, Sammy Joe by Marita Winters. And the other baby, that you just see the edge of it that's not quite showing up on my screen here. Let me pull him over. There we go. Is um, Ethan by Cassie Brace. And Ethan um, is also a newer kit that hasn't been long been out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, pull these kits out one by one and show them to you so that you can see the vinyl in its blank state. All of these babies are going to be offered at the same price, and that is for $400 shipped in the United States. Um, that is not for any international sales or Canada. If you live in Canada, I can ship you a baby, but you will have to pay the actual shipping cost. And um, 
I do not, uh, well, we'll talk more about that if you're in Canada, but, and then outside the United States, I'm just not offering this special because it just gets too convoluted. But, um, and each of these babies can be reborn either bald or with painted hair. Um, and if you want rooted hair, I'm sorry to say, I just am not physically able to root anymore. I have tendonitis in this hand really badly now, even to the point that some days just painting and the pouncing of painting really aggravates it. So I just can't root. Um, every now and again, I might play around with rooting a little bit, but I haven't in a long time. Um, and then all of the babies will be painted as Caucasian babies. Um, for the most part, I may, I may come on, come in with a sun kiss look, but I won't be doing AA babies in this price range because that takes a lot more time and a lot more paint building for that. So these will all be Caucasian babies. Um, so let me, um, go over. I'm going to switch screen back to the webcam here and let me check my page and see if anybody has logged on. Um, I don't have anybody on yet, so I'm hoping you guys can hear me. So, um, what I'm going to do now is pull out the kits and show you the actual kits. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is we yawn or little yawns, but um, the reason I'm showing her first is I've actually already started painting her, and she's still in process. So let me pull that one out. And I've got her on a rack here because her pieces have been drying. Um, let me switch screens so I can see because the Facebook is a little bit delayed from what um, I'm seeing over here. And let me turn my camera a little bit so that we can get a little better view here. Sorry about that. Okay, now we've got the baby in the screen. Here we go. So here is our um, baby that I've been working on. And this is a uh, little yawn. Right now she's shiny because um, with the paints and the mediums that I use, there is some sheen involved until the baby is matted. And I'm um, getting a lot of, um, let's see if I can change the lighting. We'll see how that does. Uh, this is not supposed to be. I'll pull it back here. There we go. Thought I had the white light balance turned off, but maybe I don't. So um, here she is, and or he, and um, this baby um, is very rosy uh, blush right now, and um, also has a little bit of a sun kiss look to it. I thought about going back over it with a, a speckle flesh model to kind of tone that down a little bit, but I'm not decided for sure if I want to do that because this is a little bit of a different look, but it is um, it is a nice look. So um, I don't know that it's quite showing up on the camera. Let me see. Uh, let me see if I can tone the lighting down here a little bit. Alrighty, that might help us some. Eh, that white balance. <laughs> anyway, so um, there you can see it pretty good. If I hold it closer to me, that looks pretty accurate for coloring, at least on my monitor. This baby has an open mouth because it's yawning. I'm going to pull it into the camera, but it may go white out on you. We'll see. All right, did pretty good. So, um, it's got a you know, open mouth, so probably will not have a magnetic pacifier. Probably will end up with a um, modified pacifier. But that's the head. And then here's um, the arm. They are full arms. Uh, let me try to balance all this with one hand. So right there, it still looks kind of red, so we'll see. I may tone it down a little bit. I did something different with this baby. I do my I do my um, shading and creasing and stuff like that with pan pastels a lot. I don't normally blush with the pan pastels, but I decided to, to blush with the pan pastels with this baby. 
and it makes for a nice translucent blush. It's just that they're, the Pan Pastels are very um, rich in pigment, so the baby's got a good bit of color right now. Trying to allow this camera some time to focus. But also, the sheen makes everything look more intense. So once the baby's matted, it will be um, softer. So this baby is going to make an 18-inch baby, which is about um, like a large, preemie, small newborn. If you've ever um, seen, uh, for example, um, I recently finished uh, a Marina Winters kit that was um, Raleigh. Raleigh. And this baby's pretty much the same size as Raleigh was. So if you've ever seen that one, this one's about that size. So that is um, the the wheat, the little yawn baby. And then the next kit I'm going to show you is a small newborn. And this is actually uh, sold out now, I believe. Um, this is Tavi by Marita Winters. Tavi has got a beautiful face, a little pouty or not pouty, but full lips. I love the lips on Tabby. Tabby will be an 18-inch baby as well, I believe. Um, here's the arms. Tabby has got both of her little uh, hands are closed, which I think looks really sweet on the sleeping babies because a lot of times they sleep with their hands up like that. And then her legs. And these are the full legs that go with Tabby. Now these may or whoops, I dropped it. These may not be the actual original full legs that came with the Tabby kit. I'm not sure. Um, because Marita had some uh, boxes of stuff that she went through and she found some more parts that she didn't realize she had in stock and she knew she had a tabby head and tabby arms that were original to the kit and I asked her if she could find me some legs so that I could have a whole baby um, because I she had already I had already gotten the arms and legs from her a while back and so she found these legs that are a dead perfect match and I don't know if these are her original legs or not but they're the same color vinyl and they're the, they're the perfect size for her so they're going to be they're going to be fine. So anyway, that's Tabby. And with Tabby, I did receive a certificate of authenticity from Maurice Perita because this is a um, genuine Tabby. Alrighty, and let's see. The next one, let me check my Facebook page here. I'm kind of going back and forth to see if I've got any messages. Okay. All right, the next kit I will be showing you guys is, um, this is Alexander from Oga Hour. Alexander makes a 19 to 20 inch um, baby. I have reborn one of these kits in the past as an AA baby, but this one for the Christmas special will be a Caucasian baby. I might give him a, a little bit of a sun-kissed skin tone, like go a little bit more like a, I haven't decided yet. It depends on a if someone custom orders him before I start him and they have a preference and if not then once I start him I will just go with how I envision him and then whatever he winds up being at the end that's how he will be sold. I do want to point out that the special pricing that I'm offering for the Christmas special on these babies once the Christmas special is over any babies that are left will not necessarily be sold at the Christmas special pricing they may go back to their regular pricing which is listed on my Facebook page under each picture of what I normally sell each completed baby for because I will probably be taking one or two of these to IDTS with me if they don't sell before Christmas. So there's the arms. They're full arms and then I've got legs and uh, his legs are also full legs. Digging in my bag here for like Santa Claus over here digging in the Christmas bag. And there his legs are. And he makes a really nice newborn size baby that wears newborn size clothes very well. He's not a super skinny baby. As you can see, he's got some meat on his thighs, but he's not a fat baby. So um, he's a baby that um, keep dropping stuff. And as you see, his arms are more slender. So he's a baby that would be uh, 
an average build, I guess you would say. So that's little um, Alexander. The next baby that I'm showing you is Marita Winter's Sammy Joe. Sammy Joe is a very chunky little baby, I think. She's got a real sweet little sleeping face. She reminds me in a, in a little bit of a offhanded way of the Emily Webb um, kit that was so popular by Ashton Drake. And back in the day, a lot of people used to reborn those babies. And she reminds me a little bit of her. Not that she looks just like them. Get my head tilted right. Not that she looks just like her, but the mouth reminds me of that kind of mouth and the little eyes. So she has that real sweet, timeless look I think about her that I think about when I think about Emily Webb. Um, and of course with her, you're going to get the full arms and full legs of a, of a, done in the full vinyl, which is really nice. So there's one, one hand is closed and one hand is partially closed. And see, there's lots of detailing here, lots of nice, crazy detailing on this kit. Marita did an outstanding job sculpting this kit. Let me lay that over here to the side and pull out her legs. And I like the chunky babies. My babies were not little babies. I had a nine pounder and eight and a half pounder when my babies were born. So, um, if you like the fuller, chunkier babies, this baby has got nice little chunky legs. The other thing I really like about these legs is whenever you go in with the bent legs for um, when they sculpt the bent legs on the baby kits, because they're bent, there's a certain amount of, um, of fusing that's going to happen in the vinyl from the front to the back in the bend. But some of them have a very fused look about them and some of them don't. And I don't know how to, how to explain that other than that wording. But this one, to me, doesn't have that really fused look to it because the way she sculpted the creasing, you still get the depth and the dimension and the curvature there that it looks more like a bend and not like a fused leg part. I don't know if that makes sense to you. I hope it does. But, um, but I just, I like it. It doesn't have that weird look to it that some of the legs do on some of the bent baby kits. So I really like that because it's sculpted really well to where it looks very rounded and balanced through there and not just attached. If that, and, and his baby's got really nice feet too. The other thing now, this kit comes with a belly plate. Now under the special, the special does not include me painting the belly plate. I stated on the little thing up there that if you want the belly plate, that's 25 extra because it is a, a good size belly plate. And if you want the painted belly plate to go with your baby, I'm more than happy to paint that as well, but it would be twenty it'd be four twenty five shipped for your baby. Um and it does have a, a nice she does have a nice belly plate and it would be a shame not to get her with a belly plate. But I just feel like being that she is a bigger baby and um I just feel like it's only fair that if you want the belly plate as well that that's gonna cost a little bit extra because once again this is a really nice kit and she's a bigger baby so she's gonna take a little more time to paint. All right, and I have the certificate, of course, to go with her of authenticity. I didn't pull all those out because I have all my COAs in a in a folder filed alphabetically so that I don't lose any of them. Um, let me check over right quick and see if I've got any questions. Nope, nobody's there. Everybody must be at work. All right, so the next baby that I'm going to be showing you is, I believe this is, yeah, this is um, Ethan by Kathy Brace. And I'm excited to work on this one. I got two of these kits. Um, I think Ethan is just an adorable baby. I think he's got that cute, mischievous grin. Or she, could be a she. Um, we've got dimples going on. we got dimple here. And a dimple here. Love the dimples. There is some um, prominence in the head bone here. That sculpting look. And um, the baby's got nice ears. Looking at myself backwards here, it's hard to tell where I'm at. Um, I just, it's like I can just almost hear this baby cooing when I look at this face, and I just love it. Um, then we've got the limbs that are full vinyl limbs on this baby. 
Uh, Ethan is another slender build baby. He's not a fat baby. He's he's slender and um, he's got nice long slender arms with good detailing in the creases and the sculpt of the arms. The hands are very nicely detailed, so he's got very nice limbs. Cassie does a very nice job on her baby's limbs. And then he's got nice little slender legs. So some people tell me that their babies were long and skinny. Um, he's a little more on that on that wavelength. So if you like the longer legs, longer arms, longer, leaner looking baby, he's definitely a longer, leaner baby. Let me hold her feet up here. He has very nicely sculpted toes. And you all know that I'm a nut about the baby toes, the baby feet. And his, his toes are very, very nicely sculpted. So they have a lot of individuality. That will be so fun. So I'm just all the way around very much liking baby Ethan. Um, so you guys will um, really enjoy him, whoever gets this baby. And let's see. Is there, there's one more I haven't shown you. And that is Uriel. But she's a little preemie. And to get Uriel for $400 shipped is like a beyond a steal because she's really popular right now. She's got the sweetest little face. She's got a sleeping smile. Look at that. So cute. And then I'll show you her limbs. I haven't even unwrapped her all the way. Very petite little arms. Slender little arms. Very uh, petite little fingers. This one is one that I may just absolutely have a hard time go letting go once I get her made. She's so cute. So this one is a preemie size baby that has, she has not got that um, preemie look like, for lack of a better word, I call it an alien look about it. She has a, a more developed look about her, but smaller, if that makes sense. And then here's her legs. You know, not all preemies are born looking underdeveloped. Some of them are just smaller, depending on how far along in the gestational period they were. I like that. She does have the little wrinkles on her knees of a baby that's still about developing. Nice toes. The toes are spread apart. So she has really good detailing on her toes. Very, very, very sweet kit. Going to make a gorgeous little baby. Whoop, there we go. Alrighty. So that is Uriel. And I believe she makes a 17 inch baby. I don't have my paperwork in front of me on her. Um... So that's all the babies I have for the specials. I do have other babies that I may be painting in the next few weeks uh, that I may throw in one of the bigger babies that would be more expensive. But um, these are my Christmas specials. So that is pretty much everything I wanted to show you about that. Um, I appreciate you guys joining me, even though nobody's here live right now. This will air on my page, and um, it'll be up for everybody that wants to see what I'm offering on this special. So, I hope you guys have a great day. Um, and um, if you got any questions about the Christmas specials, don't hesitate to send me an email and ask me. Um, and we can work this out. Normally what I do is a 50% down payment, uh, non-refundable down payment to start and the balance is due when the baby's finished. Um, and, um, 
if you need to work it out to, to break the payment up a little more, I can probably work with you on that. I don't want to stretch it out too long because I want to have all these babies um, shipped and out the door uh, by December the 1st. So um, if you got any questions, just send me a message. I'll talk to you guys later and have a good one.